last time on the Summer Sphere, I left Kerry Jeannie for Coral Bay. But my hopes of an afternoon snorkel were crushed by a sandstorm. I'm going in. Oh my god, I just got sandblasted. Well, let's hope the weather's going to be better tomorrow. Can you hear that? It's a whole heap of rain coming down. I have to get going quickly because I don't want to have the same situation as last year when the river is flooded and I can't cross. Next stop, Kelberry. It's awful. So I quickly went to grab a coffee at the local bakery before sitting in the car for several hours again. So I think I've now got about 700 kilometers to drive today. My aim was to get to Kelberry and I really wanted to get going fast. The weather didn't look too good and I knew from my last trip up here just how quickly things could flood. Right now it's not rainy season but the weather is pretty average and when I looked up yesterday at the forecast for today it did say that it was meant to rain quite a lot and flash floods would likely occur so I'm hoping I'm not too late for the river crossing. Oh, it's getting really really dark now and there's already big puddles on the road. Damn it! Rain's getting worse. Okay, I'm at the river and I am lucky. Look at it now. It's all clear. Thank God, I think we're gonna go past. <laughs> what a relief! What a relief! Because you never know, like if it just rains a lot in the north, might not even have to rain here that much. But this river fills up and all of a sudden you just can't go past it. So I'm relieved. I've gone past it and know from here on there shouldn't be an issue. Well, mark my words. Alrighty, I made it to the roadhouse. There you go. You come out and you stand in the puddle. I'm shaking, I'm actually scared. This is the time when I wish I wasn't on my own. Oh, I want to cry, my heart's pounding. Oh, I had to cross so many puddles and rivers and floods. Fucking hell, sorry for the language, but I'm, this is stupid. Oh, I am in Carnarvon. Thank God for that. I'm gonna go and do a wee. I nearly wet my pants. Alrighty, I'm on the road again and it's looking much, much better. See, there's even some blue in the sky. I thought it was over. It's not. Ah, oh, for crying out loud, there's more. chance that's it for me can't keep going there's no other road there you go you got stuck look we're stranded and I met these two nice Germans <laughs> and they're making me a coffee <laughs> and themselves of course so whilst we'll wait they said about an hour <laughs> no change in conditions I've been here for two and a half hours now I honestly don't know what to do all right, it is now 20 minutes to five o'clock and I'm still stuck. I've still got no reception. And I don't know if this water's going down or not. Okay, I'm shit scared. I think it's happening. I think I'm doing it. <sighs> okay, well, we'll see. Next thing you see me, it's either from the other side of the road or from the middle of the water, stuck somewhere out there in the water bed. I did it! I did it! I did it! <laughs> Car still working, it's five o'clock. Woo! <laughs> oh 
Oh my god, I am totally and utterly destroyed. Oh, I've arrived in Kelberry now. It's like half past eight now. I've been driving through six, seven, eight. I've, dri I've been driving through the dark for two and a half hours. If someone would have asked me yesterday if doing a trip like that on your own as a girl in a shitty little car is recommendable, I'd say, yeah, go for it. What I'd say now, though, is I'd still say yes, but I'd also say if stuff goes wrong, you're truly on your own, there's nothing out there and you have to rely on yourself you, and your own judgement. You really have to do that. So be as prepared as you can be and then rely on your own judgement. Observe. <laughs> I watched this stupid river today for five hours before I actually went through. I hope tomorrow is not going to be as adventurous as today because I've had enough. Good morning from Calberry. Jeez, that was a drive yesterday. My eyes are still all red from so much strenuously looking in the dark for kangaroos and goats and cows and sheep. Anyway, I had a fantastic sleep and it's now 8 o'clock or something. I'm gonna get myself um, ready, make a coffee, a little bit of breakfast, and then the weather doesn't look too bad. I might actually go into the national park before I finally get back to Perth. Now, here in Kalberi, the Murchison River flows right into the Indian Ocean, yeah? So, because of that, there's always a bit of a swell and some waves. But today, it's like big swell. It looks like it is raining in the National Park. See there, that's the National Park. So I don't know if it's worth going. I might go to the Tourist Information and see what the weather's like. So the lady from the Tourist Information told me if you want to go, you should go now. So I am now in the National Park and I'm going to go somewhere down there to Nature's Window. Oh, stop. I believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time Morning, evening and midnight Such a wonderful delight Forgo Give up everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Okie dokie, here we go the last leg of the little road trip adventure. About six, five to six hours drive back to Perth. All right, fueled out. Got myself a chicka roll. Off I go. I just got stopped by the police. Apparently I was speeding. Damn it. 250 kilometers to go. <laughs> I did it. I am home. <laughs> I did it. I drove, me and my little car, we drove 4,000 kilometers all the way up north. Went through sandstorms, through flat waters. <laughs> Saw some incredible landscape. And now we're back home. <laughs> well done, my little car. Well done, me too. See you soon in our next adventure then. Bye-bye. Cheers. I am so happy. Hold you in my arms, won't let go. The world around can pass us by. A thunderstorm, a lightning strike. As we hold each other. Oh my God, I just got sandblown.